coming to the uh, level of the education graduate uh, there are three levels of the education after the completion of our plus 2 there will be a three levels of education in general in india uh, we have more graduation and post graduation and research so at graduation level the enrollment is uh, 1.75 the enrollment of uh, total number of students are 1.75 crores every year and uh, uh, the their percentage is coming around 86 percentage and if you come to the post graduation studies that is the masters uh, program so it is around 0.25 crores of the students are being enrolled every year and their percentage is coming to around 13 percentage and uh, if you come to the doctoral program so that is the research so that is leads to phd so doctor of philosophy so it is enrollment is 0 0.0 0 0.016 uh, crores of the students are being enrolled after their masters program so their percentage is coming to only one percentage so this is why so we have to think over so only one percentage of the students are being enrolled for doctoral programs so that is uh, there is a much scarcity of the uh, this uh, doctoral program so we have to enhance this number uh, in the future uh, coming days so here the objectives of the present talk is uh, like uh, to provide a platform to uh, research scholars to produce the scientific quality. Quality is important. Always uh, we have to think about the quality research. So in uh, on engineering education because uh, this engineering education is most important. So most important to um, develop the country. So here also to de develop the research uh, based engineering or science or education. And also documentation is also most important. Document and disseminate the compendium of the research. So these are the three uh, objectives of the, this uh, present talk, so which will be, uh, I think, uh, uh, this is this will be helpful for those who are pursuing the, their uh, doctoral program. So here, research. What is the definition of the research? It is a systematic approach. Systematic approach for in in the uh, any field, like uh, either maybe in science or technology or science, um, any field, either in medicine. It is a systematic approach to obtain and confirming our new or reliable knowledge. So either it may be a new, uh, you can confirm the new or reliable knowledge based on our research uh, mode. So this uh, methodology is the way. So methodology means it is the way to achieve this uh, um, reliable knowledge. So that is the way, way for the, to achieve the objectives. Our ob objectives now must be fulfilled based on the, our research methodology. So proper research methodology sh should be framed when we are uh, looking for the, our, uh, PhD program in from a university. So here, research is a searching for the explanation of the events or phenomenon or relations and causes. Here, always one should keep uh, all these uh, points like uh, these words, uh, buzzwords. We can call as uh, buzzwords or keywords like what, now, how, and uh, why, and uh, these are the things to be um, kept in mind while doing our research program. So what, how, and why, these are the most important uh, buzzwords. And uh, here the process, it's a process means it's a planned, planned and managed and uh, to make the information generated credible. That credibility is most important. So here the process should be the creative. So all these things are important. These are the, and it should be, it can be like a circular, always leads to more questions. Sometimes you have to question and you have to give answers on, on our own selves. So when we are doing our PhD program, uh, we have to question ourselves and give the solution for that question. So that is the, it, it, it can be a circular one. So it leads to more questions. So well-designed uh, and conducted research has potential application. Our research should have the potential application. So some application benefit, benefit for the society, benefit for the science and technology, benefit for the all the communities. So our research has should have, should have some uh, significance towards the development of some uh, societal benefit. So here, types of research, either it may be basic or applied. So there are uh, basically two types of research are there. So basic research, so generally uh, like Einstein or um, uh, very prominent uh, uh, scientists will uh, go for the basic research. And uh, generally nowadays we are going for the applied research. In the, in, in generally in engineering, we go for the applied research. So it is undertaken specifically for the purpose of obtaining information to help the resolve a particular problem. So problem-based research, that is the applied research. So here, 
we are going for the only most of the people are uh, opting for the applied research only so purpose of research to discover the answer to the questions through the applications of some scientific procedures so we have to adopt some scientific procedures so scientific procedures are uh, useful to give the solutions for the societal problems or scientific problems or any technological problem that is a scientific procedure should be developed to uh, go through or um, to crack through our this uh, phd program during our um, research time so here qualification is uh, most important qualification plays a vital role for uh, any um, scientist or engineer or uh, any teacher or professor or anything so generally the basic degree is uh, known as a bachelor degree it is a general overview it will give the general overview of particular domain suppose you are going for the mechanical engineering so there it will it will have all the subjects pertaining to mechanical engineering so similarly if you, if you are going for the electrical engineering so all the subjects we study it is a generalized overview of the all the subjects whereas uh, coming to the masters it is a confined confined towards some uh, specific uh, specialization so it is a more knowledge and more depth so that is known as masters so now after masters we can enroll for the phd which is a focused one so that is still narrowed down so our program like uh, uh, it will narrow some this is the btech level this is the btech and this could be like mtech and we are narrowing down the phd so narrowing so our our focus is on a specific very specific problem so that is known as the phd so highest degree in academics is the phd that is the doctorate so attain, attaining the greatest level of the competence in the uh, specific field of the study is known as this uh, um, phd program so uh, while doing the, this uh, after uh, after doing this obtaining this phd so one sh one can master the subject master of the that subject and they can prepare the uh, for academia and the research competence will be improved and the higher remuneration finally remuneration also will be improved and prestige prestige and our respect you will be also much much enhanced in the society so here the simply calling as a, uh, if you do if you do some bachelors it will be called as mr mr some uh, something like or if you if you do uh, mtech he will be also called as a mr only so when we obtain phd we will be called as doctor so doctor is the greatest word uh, that is a suffix given to the one's name so here next one is the strength of the phd what is the strength of the phd strength of the phd is based on the origin of the problem most important is the origin of how that problem is origin so originated so now here uh, we have to define the problem in such a way that it should have some strength value and application strength or value or application so in that way we have to define our problem so next one is the university and the r and d organization also is the most important whether we are going for a state university or um, like um, uh, nits or iits or any foreign universities or something like that so that is the university also plays a vital it's a ranking worldwide ranking is also most important and the guide it's a most important is our guide is also most important our supervisor uh, and his uh, caliber and his uh, value and his uh, um, um, is the stature in the um, level and all those things are important when we are selecting all this uh, um, criteria and uh, publications what are the publication whether sca journals are there or uh, web of science journals are there or uh, something like um, some uh, standard journals so we have to choose for the uh, either scopus index journal so all these things are most important while uh, uh, estimating the strength of our phd and originality is also most important originality and plagiarism nowadays uh, uh, plagiarism has become most uh, means uh, common uh, and uh, originality we have to keep up this originality and uh, plagiarism should be always avoided this should be avoided so plagiarism should not be there when we are going for the uh, this uh, phd program or any uh, research program so we should not copy from others uh, work so average uh, and good size of the thesis is around 150 pages so 150 pages document based on your idea should be developed within the stipulated time leads to phd program so research area 
how it can be based on some idea. So idea can be developed into a doctorate thesis, doctorate thesis program, or based on the experience of the one uh, candidate. Uh, also, it can uh, leads to it leads to the PhD, and based on the reading, our readings, reading it will help uh, to enhance our knowledge. So it gives the all the um, ex, um, means uh, uh, exposure, exposure towards the um, knowledge that uh, particular domain. So in that domain, we have to read so many general papers or um, book, books, textbooks, and uh, standard uh, books, which are authored by the foreign formats and all those things we have to learn. That reading also plays a vital role when we are defining the, this our problem, research area. And the exposure and interaction with the people. So our exposure during the conferences, so we have to attend the conferences. So conferences, uh, um, which are going to be conducted by IITs and NITs must and should attend. And the interaction with the people, there we will find the some uh, galaxy of people who are stalwarts in the uh, some particular area. In that area, we, if we interact with the people, we, can, we may get some ideas and uh, our methodology can be defined, defined. The path, methodology means it is a path. And the originality, it's also based on the originality. So always original, it should be original. So here, what are the characteristics of the research? So must be focused. So this is the most important on a single problem or single issue. So multiple issues will spoil the, the, our uh, research. So we should have single problem or single issue. Based on that only we have to focus, not in all other aspects. And uh, which can be researchable. So the problem should be uh, researchable and uh, based on the primary and secondary sources. So that should be researchable. So you should not take uh, should not uh, research about the aliens. Suppose if you are uh, um, making some research uh, study on aliens, it may end or may not end. So we, we should be researchable. There should be some end point. End point is most important to complete our research program. Next one is feasible. It should be feasible to answer these uh, questions and time frame. So time frame and questions and the practical constraints. So feasibility is also most important and it should have some practicality in making our time frame and the practical uh, constraints. So we have to uh, overcome all the practical constraints. Uh, we, we, we may get so, so much ideals while we are uh, pursuing our doctorate program. So within that time frame, we have to overcome the, those these, uh, constraints. So that is most important for a PhD can candidate. And it should be specific, specific enough to answer thoroughly. So all the problems which are narrated in the uh, this uh, PhD thesis work should have answers. So when we when it is uh, sent for the uh, some examiners, so then then they should understand what we are uh, our uh, means our vision in that uh, PhD thesis. So all all those things should have enough answers. So we have to write um, uh, in a such a way that it should be understood by the examiners, and uh, should complex enough to develop an answer to over the space of the um, paper and thesis. So here we have to produce these uh, um, papers, uh, some papers during the our uh, PhD time. And it should be relevant, relevant with, re with respect to our field. Our field is the uh, most important. So our field of study, we should not deviate from our field of the study. So it should be relevant to our field. So defining objects. So most important is objectives are most important. So to define objectives, so to fulfill these objectives, we have go, go for the methodology. So first of all, these uh, objectives are most important. So objectives should be simple and uh, there, uh, there should not be uh, more variables. There should not be more variables. More variable leads to difficult. So more variables means um, it may lead to difficult. Um, and, uh, um, some suggestions from the you can get the suggestion from the uh, either you may, your seniors or colleagues or experienced researchers or experts from the so when we are doing our uh, pursuing our PhD program we have to visit uh, some of the institutions like IITs and NITs and meet the people there who are experts in that uh, particular uh, domain and they get the some help in uh, uh, getting our uh, framing our methodology to fulfill these objectives so we have to discuss with the people who are having some uh, great exposure in that particular domain. So next one is the literature survey. So literature search is most important. So based on the uh, 
literature search only so here we are going to define the objectives so from the literature search we are going to get the gaps so what are the lacunas lacunas also we have to develop you have to observe lacunas so check the check to see the idea whether it is original or not so we may get some idea but uh, if it is already there in our uh, literature survey that will be a useless thing so so we have to check our idea whether it is already available in the literature so we have to look for the new slant to present so so we have to be a new thing it should be a new thing uh, with respect to the liter literature uh, which is already available in the um, literature uh, try to get the full article so full article is most important so sometimes uh, we may study we may read only abstract or we may read only uh, conclusion and uh, should, should we have to get the full paper then you can get the full idea about that uh, topic so the topic also is the most important and uh, read all the references which are given at the end of the conclusions so all the references every paper will have publication will have the references we have to cite references after uh, writing our papers so that references is also most important so most of these will be vital when writing up the thesis so we have to keep all the material and uh, we have to quote our uh, references and uh, all those things uh, this uh, during our phd time so just reviewing of the literature is not a research so review the literature and the set the objectives set the objectives and set the methodology to fulfill the objectives so analysis next one is analysis like this you can follow the research methodology so here uh, searching for searching of the published research work results in libraries are nowadays we are getting the internet facility so now anyone can search within fraction of seconds so this is the most important and early step step of the research so the searching mode is most important to go ahead with the or research work and the research process always include the synthesis and analysis synthesis and anal analysis also most important so it uh, brings the reader up to date knowledge so up to date knowledge so always you have to refer around uh, 5 to 10 years back back volumes of the our uh, research area so what is known given in the topic and uh, provide a fresh insights that uh, advance the knowledge it also resolve the conflicts Some, sometimes we may get some doubts so the doubts will be clear off based on the this uh, our research uh, literature such and uh, identity uh, identify new ways so we can set the new ways to interpret the our research results so we can interpret our uh, uh, research results by a new way based on the this uh, literature survey so most important this is the most important for framing our objectives and also methodologies that's why I'm insisting on this uh, literature search. So next one is the creating a path for future research. So the scope, that is known as scope of our research work. Scope of research work. This is also most important. Whenever there is a scope, it will have some uh, uh, path towards the continuation of our research work for our juniors also. So that should be there. Whenever the, we are doing some research, it should give some scope for the further research work. And uh, how far how far back should we uh, one should search? Or uh, mostly uh, widely accepted time frame is ten years, ten to five years, five to ten years papers we have to search. Always uh, new, not uh, like uh, suppose you are doing uh, research in 2022, then up to 2012 papers you can study. Not like uh, 1980 papers or something like that. So don't go beyond the ten years of the paper. Sometimes uh, we can utilize for for references, but not uh, large. Uh, number so pioneer works always you have to um, take the pioneer works um, can be taken uh, very uh, means older pioneer works can be referred so next one is good writing needs a lot of reading always reading is most important reading 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 always reading is most important <coughs> next one is the structure of the phd so what is the structure actually the structure how it look like so our book, the first content of our book should be abstract. Then chapter one as introduction. So introduction should give overview and problem statement and introduce the structure of the thesis. So these are the main contents of the introduction. Next chapter is background. Background of the our research work, the problem statement and the motivation, uh, motivation state and how we, we want to go for uh, for the PhD program and what are the lacunas, what are the gaps, 
all those things will be discussed in the background that is known as literature survey this is nothing but literature survey other name of background is literature survey next one is most important is based on this literature survey we have to set the objectives in the in third chapter this is the third chapter so to fulfill this uh, uh, problem statement we have to set the some objectives next one is you have to uh, methodology this comes under methodology that could be like a experimental work based on the um, uh, this uh, literature survey and our objectives next uh, what are the results are obtained in the experiment, experimental analysis they should be analyzed our results should be analyzed and further we can make the some design so next one is next uh, sixth chapter could be like uh, modeling and comparison of the experimental so using this uh, computer software we can model our uh, uh, results to for, for uh, a complicated state also next one is the seventh chapter could be like summary or conclusions so this is the uh, final um, work the conclusion of our work next one is the future of uh, for future work so scope of the our research work should be given as a chapter 8 and appendix any appendix we can give and bibliography means it is the references all the references are made as a bibliography this is the structure of the thesis so tips for success in uh, phd so follow the instructions like uh, fo follow the page and font size so page and font size are also most important so nowadays we are um, uh, means we are very careless towards the font uh, making of the uniform font the uniform size and all those things nobody is caring so that sentence form formation all those things we have to take very utmost care while presenting our uh, thesis book so have a strong evaluation plan with the timelines so timeline is most important after so next three months what is our work next six months after what is our work next one year what is our work so these are the timeline frame so that is known as the benchmarks you have to set the timeline and also venture next to three months you have to set the objectives next to six months we go over to set the some uh, literature survey like this so next to 12 months we have to produce two to three papers like this we have to uh, plan well before while uh, planning for the doctoral program so write and rewrite so whatever you write and then rewrite again so we will get the idea so in our own words you have to use own words so when you are um, referring the literature so their idea should be written on our, our own words so read, read the full paper and then you have to produce the crux of the that uh, particular paper the summary of that play, paper in our own words so write and rewrite makes the uh, plagiarism uh, will come down so next one is that uh, you can uh, you can uh, get the, some critics uh, with respect to your seniors and mentors and colleagues you have to welcome the critics uh, constructive criticism and to make the uh, our thesis more effective more uh, significant so we have to welcome the critics from the mentors and colleagues and the previous members of the that uh, research work and the next one is be reasonable so be aware of the scope scope should be there not too ambitious or not too narrow it should not be elaborate and should not be very narrow and anticipate some problems by while addressing the difficulties so there will be some definitely there will be some problems so anticipate some uh, problems and uh, address them accordingly so acknowledge possible experimental problems and they have alternatives so suppose some experimental analysis is taken from the literature survey so you have to acknowledge the, the process so acknowledgement is also given there and then only in that fourth chapter so next one is make it easy for uh, reviewers so reviewer is most important so one who reviews will give the our uh, report on our thesis work simply simplify and streamline make sure that you get overall idea across so most important is Overall idea across the our thesis should be uh, known by the reviewers and pay attention uh, attention to details like uh, uh, spell check. Though sp spell check is most important and proofread. So uh, you have to spell check. You using uh, means uh, using utilizing the um, um, services of uh, your colleague. The uh, spell check. You have to read and um, you have to proofread. So have someone to someone else to read and understand the proposal. So give uh, the, your thesis to some uh, your some of your friends. Then ask ask him to read and uh, ask him to tell some uh, any spell check uh, any mistakes are there. So you can ask him to uh, enhance the uh, quality of that research work. And uh, here grammar check is also most important. And the photos 
and graphs should be clearly mentioned. So here, before I start doing the research work, so problem context is most important, then defining that one. So you have to define the, your problem. So next one is the elements of the problem. What is the elements? What are the elements uh, which are influence, influencing the problem uh, statement? Then you have to set the objectives. So set the objectives and uh, to um, fulfill this one objectives, what are the prerequisites? And while doing the uh, research, so what is the research is about? That you should know. One should know what is uh, we are, what we are going to do. So which questions are to be answered? So put your questions. Already told when, why, how, all those things. You have to keep our you know these uh, words in our mind. Then answer yourself and find the solution to uh, that, those uh, questions. And importance. You have to feel the importance whether it is a without importance. What is the use of doing this uh, PhD? So you have to feel the importance of the. Uh, PhD and uh, you have to make others to feel the importance of our PhD work. So next one is the type of uh, it's, uh, whether it is a classical one or it's a basic one or it is a applied one. So type of research is also most important and abstract so so many abstracts will come across the, our uh, research work. So we have to overcome all those obstacles to finally we have to get the uh, this uh, doctorate. So this is the um, title page should be there. Um, Next one is the certificate from the guide on the acknowledgement. This is the acknowledgement one who can acknowledge all the um, uh, people who have helped in uh, your uh, pursuing your PhD work. And then contents will be there. Then list of the tables. Then you have to give the, this is the index. Index you have to give. So like this. Next one is the abbreviations you have to give. And the abstract, chapter one, two, three, four, like that. Appendix and bibliography. This is the structure of your uh, book. That, uh, that book should have at least uh, 150 pages to 200 pages. <clears throat> so literature uh, review. So you have to get the idea and write in, a, in your own way. So this idea should be taken from the paper. So paper from a standard journal. So now you have to reproduce within the uh, two, three sentences in your own and Mention the, the authors, like one, one author is there means, so after author you have to put comma and year, year of publication. If uh, more than two authors are there, you have to give the et al, chen et al like that. So you have to give the year and the two authors are there, the two authors should be separated with and, and year. So like this, one author is there means only author and year. More than two authors are there means you have to use et al, don't write all the names of authors. and. Uh, uh, two authors are there means only you have to separate the two authors with and and here. So this is a, um, while writing in the this is in chapter two. So when when you are mentioning in the references, you have to give the full name, full full names. All the names should be indicated in references. I think I am um, everybody understood this uh, technique. So next one is so here uh, glending all means it is more than two authors and here more than two authors here. Well, only two authors are there. Here, only one author is there. So, like that, you have to give the um, this one um, references. So, again, when mentioning the author's name, so you have to mention the older one at first. This 1990 comes before 1996, and then 1996 comes before 2004. So, you have to mention <coughs> the recent one in the, in the last. Always mention the recent one in the last. So here also, 2005 and 2007. Here, 1985 and 2002. So recent one should be last. It should be mentioned last. Don't follow the alphabet card here. So H, G, C, all the things, don't, don't follow the alphabet card. Only you have to follow the year, year of publication. Next one, when you are uh, depicting some uh, uh, experimental experiments in the form of photographs, that photograph should be titled. So, you have to give the title for every photograph which you are indicating in your thesis work. So fig one means figure one. So fig, if you write figure, no need to full, 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 full stop. So figure six or you can write fig dot one, fig dot six, like that you can write. So whenever you are giving some abbreviation, that abbreviation should end with full stop. So when you are writing in a full word, there is no need to write the, no need to mention the full stop. 
on the graphs also like this so fig one like that so any graphs or any um, plates you have to give the some titles so table always the table should be indexed so what is the purpose of this table in okay. one or two sentences the font style should be uniform so that is also most important so next you have to mention the papers published what are the papers published during your research study you have to mention all the paper published that will add the value to your research work so next finally you have to reference the or you have to give the references so general paper means that the general name should be written in italics this is the italics and here um, uh, the title and uh, author name should be given in uh, normal style so italics italic means slant writing slant writing is known as italic so here general general means it should be indicated in italics suppose it is a book means um, that the title should be given in italics and the book uh, the, the uh, publisher of the, that book is given in normal style so that is also most important so if the title is indicated in italics means that is nothing but it is a book if the general general is given uh, means it is if the title is in a normal style means it is a general so that you have to means uh, significantly you have to differentiate between the general general and a book next this is the uh, way to way for the research I already explained i think so here uh, bloom's taxonomy in this one also so remember and all the things it will come in our research study also so plagiarism so plagiarism should be avoided this is most dangerous thing so plagiarism should be avoided so you should not copy others idea and reproduce means uh, in your uh, their uh, full uh, literature so you have to write you can uh, in your own words next uh, the different types of uh, plagiarism checkers are there so turnitin is the most powerful uh, plagiarism ch checker so um, you can use the plagiarism checkers different uh, types of plagiarism but uh, turnitin is the most uh, thing so avoiding plagiarism so you have to avoid plagiarism so conduct the extensive literature survey so most important is you have to conduct the literature survey also makes um, it will come down the plagiarism and make a note of necessary points and you have to make the note in a, and rewrite those ideas so all these things you have to um, distinguish between own ideas and existing ideas so that is clearly indicated and the next one is uh, identify any codes borrowed from uh, any uh, any of the authors and you have to acknowledge so finally you have to acknowledge and discuss with the co-authors and supervisors so this is also most important so writing a paper next one is uh, while doing our research work you have to write papers so that will enhance the uh, or the quality of work so it should have content or data and copy of general these are the most important things to be kept in mind while writing a paper so next one is idea is most important interpretation of the results are important and writing up this is the most important right writing up the article most important and methodology what we are adopting uh, that uh, methodology also most important in writing the paper so papers are most important they are backbone of the uh, our thesis work so the skeleton of the paper uh, paper is first uh, title should be there and um, uh, meaningful uh, it should be uh, like a meaningful title it should like a nomenclature we are naming our paper that is the title is nothing but the name of our paper and uh, generally it, it is given in 14 size and the attribution attribution means names of the authors you have to give in with the full address and then next one abstract you should, should be given around um, around 300 words or something like that 200 to 300 words you have to mention abstract abstract means it is nothing but summary of the paper next you have to give the introduction so in introduction you have to cover all these things what is this problem and why is it interesting who are the main contributors what what did they do and what the novelty in novelty is also most important and next one is the methodology in a, it's a procedure it's a path to obtain your research work so either it may be experimental paper or molding paper or computational paper paper may be different types again experimental paper also can be you can give the methodology any uh, paper should have methodology then um, you have to give the results results you have to present in a lucid manner and uh, um, some uh, and uh, should not mix the results with the discussion uh, this result should be separated from the discussion so you have to discuss the results why it is happened how it is happened 
yeah, suppose increasing or decreasing something is increasing some parameter is increasing so why it is increasing that you have to explain in this question mere telling of increasing a parameter or mere telling of decreasing a parameter is not important so why it was increased why it was decreased what happened to that parameter why it is happened so that discussion should be made in the discussion uh, section then you have to give this uh, conclusion then you have to give you can give the acknowledgement uh, for the supporters of the um, your paper and give the references so all these things so, so this is the again parts of the paper so cover page and title uh, uh, this is the research proposal so here um, uh, most important is uh, during our research uh, activity we can submit some of the research proposals to dst or aict or ugc or something like that so serb all the things this uh, we have to uh, submit our research pro proposal in the form of uh, uh, a project like thing. so that uh, research proposal should have cover page and title and project summary abstract and table of contents and project description so in project description again same thing introduction review of literature problem statement all these things so all these things uh, should be given in the research proposal and then you have, you have to give the references cited so this is the ikigai so what you love this is a triangle what you love ikigai technique this is a japanese technique so here what, what the world needs and it is a what you can get paid or uh, paid for uh, your work and what you are good at all the things will be there but here 1 2 3 4 are there so one indicates uh, satisfaction but not uh, but feeling of uselessness so this one and the two delight and uh, fullness but no wealth no wealth is also not uh, not required this is a two and three three is the excitement and the competency uh, competency but sense of uncertainty and four comfortable and um, but feeling of emptiness like that so they should not fall in this category so these are the these are the regions to be avoided so these are the four regions to be avoided so you should be in this region so again uh, where there is a skill there is a will there is a way will leads to completion success success is most important so so here to have the success final important is our success in our program so be aware of what we are doing so that is awareness awareness is most important you have to mingle with the people you have to write and re read most of the articles and we have to discuss and you have to present all the things be aware of the uh, the uh, domain our domain of uh, research work and publish publish is more pub publications is also most important and communicate communicate in the form of uh, some uh, social media and your ideas can be uh, after publications you can communicate so that you can get the uh, constructive disc um, uh, criticism so you can get the some um, inputs uh, to enhance the uh, you, uh, our quality of work and we have to you know, make the network of the people you have to go to conferences go to higher institutes meet the people and get the ideas and manage time is most important so here time is also most important you have to manage the time and accordingly you have to uh, set your goal so time within the time frame that I already discussed time frame is most important so next finally it will lead to success of phd or doctorate so that is the most important so next uh, this is a parkinson's law everybody knows this uh, parkinson's law so this is the uh, graph between the comparison between effort and time so you have to make more effort at, at the initial stage initial time we have to make the more effort if the if you are making like this then the um, you, the the quality of your work will come down here tasks and deadlines should be uh, if you are relaxing then all the all the little time will and deadline is approaching panic mode is, will be there and uh, work with full focus and task will be uh, completed with a uh, mediocre uh, quality means low quality so you have to complete the task within the time frame and initially you have to work hard and later you can relax this is the parkinson's law so here this is the step uh, footstep on the moon uh, neil armstrong the, the first man to uh, step on to the moon um, is the neil neil armstrong so here uh, everybody will say that sky is the limit but uh, we should not say sky is the limit when we have the footstep on the moon is it not so when we have the footstep on the moon sky should not be the limit of our force so here uh, i think my time is uh, i completed the one hour time so i am thankful to jekiran sir for uh, giving me this opportunity so thank you very much sir. i completed 
yeah thank you sir thank you very much i'm sure this uh, presentation has given uh, very good information for the people who wants to do the research and you have uh, spent you have given this one hour time and uh, they understood for a uh, uh what who are the person who wants to do the research they definitely got the idea on this thank you very much sir uh, any questions from the participants good afternoon sir hello sir good afternoon sir tell me sir uh, yeah this is banu dekran from mechanical engineering sir this, uh, this plagiarism is doing uh, very bad uh, for writing the papers so who did this sir? plagiarism uh, in the paper sir sir one minute sir i am getting one phone hello hello sir sir okay okay 10 minutes wait sir right sir sorry sir can you repeat the, your question sir yeah the, my question is uh, how to reduce the plagiarism for uh, for uh, sending the paper to the, for the general standard journals that there is a single plagiarism they are asking uh, less than 10% 10% yes sir. so actually i am telling that sir read and read and re write and rewrite that is most important so you have to get the idea from a paper and don't see the paper and keep uh, keep that paper away and write it on your own words understand sir so when yes, you sir. get the some idea based upon a paper reading so keep that after getting that idea you have to keep that paper away and don't see that paper and write on your own words and refer that author so that you that plagiarism will not be there no sir you are you are reproducing in, in our own words i'm sure no sir and one, yes sir sir and one, one one more clarification i'm expecting from you sir, sir uh, only thing uh, the uh, weapon is read and read write and rewrite that's all so to it will automatically it will reduce so always uh, in my paper sir i my my observe that after checking with uh, turn it in i observed uh, only one person plagiarism there that is with respect to my name and the affiliation so the, uh, that is a uh, self plagiarism there is also a crime sir sir, sir? So, self that is called self plagiarism ah, plagiarism yes, that is also crime ah sir mm, sir that is a how to overcome that self self plagiarism that is also a task for a okay. research okay. scholar so only write and rewrite sir that sir will have um, you can reduce your plagiarism sir and uh, uh, one more question from my side please yes uh, we, we have a different kind of journals sir. so paid journals are there uh, free journals are there some essay journals are so yes. where should we uh, send our uh, uh, content whether uh, a free journal or paid journals uh, what is the criteria sir always uh, try to avoid this uh, paid journals sir so and uh, go for uh, scopus index paper that uh, uh, in again uh, in scopus index paper there will be four categories like q1 q2 q3 q4 so always prefer to publish your uh, work in q1 status journal in a scopus index papers or if you take the uh, your uh, means uh, mechanical engineering so there will be some uh, journals with respect to asme american society for mechanical engineers so in that asme also you can uh, produce some but it will take lot of time sir means it will they may review and uh, review and uh, it will uh, take uh, so much time like uh, more than one year it, may, it will take but uh, be patient while uh, doing your phd work be patient and produce your uh, um, work in a standard journal then your your uh, thesis work will have value it will have some level and uh, nobody can question while uh, getting the reports from the outside uh, examiners we may not be uh, this one but uh, patience is important thank you sir thank you sir yeah any other questions Uh, okay, sir. It seems sir, no other uh, participant is having the question. Sir, I should thank you for uh, sparing this time, and you have given uh, uh, very good insight of all the uh, steps should be followed for uh, a research scholar for carrying out his research. 
thank you sir thank you very much for this share the feedback also sir for my session yeah sure sir sure 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 yeah. thank you sir. yeah thank you sir thank you very much thank you participants thank you.